the bathroom. I have a cup of coffee. Um, it is actually 7 p.m., you guys. Um, this is a cup of decaf coffee. It's hot. AF. Yep, it's hot. Okay, so I'm back from my trip. I'm a little bit bronzed. I'm peeling like there's no tomorrow, guys. I got a wee bit burnt. Um, despite sunscreen use, honestly, the sun is just so freaking strong in the Dominican that, yeah. I am unfortunately peeling, but we'll disregard that. Um, I wanted to start a new kind of video series. I do get quite a bit of um, products every now and then. I like definitely don't get as much product as some, you know, beauty gurus and stuff out there do. But every once in a while, I do get some free products. And so I thought it would be really fun just because sometimes I don't always get the chance to post about it. Um, even though I'm using it, sometimes, sometimes I don't. So I really wanted to do a video in which every like couple months or weeks, it just depends when product flows in, that I would do a kind of routine. Um, so this is my night routine, sharing the products that I've kind of been trying or that I've gotten in the mail, whether it's the first time or like the third or fifth time, and just share my thoughts with all of you. So I've got a ton of products and I'm just going to be, you know, you're gonna just hang out with me as I try these products out. The detox box for the month of June was Captain Blankenship and I actually been using their products for quite a long time. Really the only product that I used from them was their sea salt spray um, or their sea salt hairspray. Um, this, this month's box was huge. They had a bunch of stuff and so, so one of the products that was in the box gels was this lemongrass and mint sea mineral liquid soap. So you're always supposed to wash your hands before you touch your face. So I'm going to use it. I've actually been using this as a hand soap. I think you can probably use it as a body soap too. Um, but I've been using it as a hand soap in our kitchen. It's got a really nice smell to it. It's definitely got a minty, lemony smell. The smell honestly just reminds me of a kitchen. It's a really nice kitchen scent. If you don't like the packaging, it'd be really nice if you put it in like a glass or ceramic container. Take my hand cloth. Wee. Okay, let's put on our Ugh! My hands are still wet. That was so dumb. Ooh. There we go. Let's zoom you all in. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by cleansing my face and then I'm going to put a mask on and then just do the rest of my routine. It's gonna be a super extra routine with like so many products just because I have a lot of products I wanna play around with and show you guys, so bear with me. Um, this first product um, is by a brand called Nini Organics. This is the Hala Cleansing Elixir Blue Tansy and Passion Fruit Dewy Oil Cleanser. It's got like a really nice kind of like sea green color. Let's see that. Really pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to use this little cleanser. I don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm just going to take like, oh, I love the smell of blue tansy. This smells very similar to the Josh Rosebrook, um, is it their hydrating mask? Hydration mask? Or it's their balm. It smells a lot like the May Lidstrom Blue Cocoon as well. I think it's that blue tansy smell. It's so good, kind of minty. I don't have a ton of makeup on right now. I did have makeup and I had a photo shoot and then I took it off. 
and then I applied a little bit of um, mascara and a bit of under eye concealer. And I am using a new camera, you guys. So let me know what you think. And I'm just gonna massage that. I really like this smell. It's so refreshing. And I'm gonna show you guys, I've used and mentioned these before. This is the cloth in the box. Um, they're little cleansing wipes. So this one is for the eye. And then I also have the heart shape for the face. This is like my new favorite thing. I still use washcloths if I'm wearing a mask, um, just because I don't want to wash that so frequently. Um, so like every two cleanses, I'll wash it in the wash. Um, but yeah, for a mask, I still use a traditional washcloth. Anyways, I'm gonna use this to remove my mascara. So you can see I have a little bit of mascara on. So I'm just going to, and I like how it's like really, really dense. Looks dirty, I just, cause I had concealer on. It's like little microfibers. I'm using the viewfinder to see where I'm. Okay. Now I'm going to use my heart shaped face cloth. I'm going to use a mask. This isn't like that new of a product, but I've never actually mentioned it. And I've only used it once before and it's a more budget friendly product. And that's the Acure Brightening Face Mask. And they recently like in the last, I don't know, year or so changed their packaging. So I find it's a lot more sleek and pretty. So the mask looks like this. It's like a Argan extracts, chlorella for all skin types, 100% vegan, paraben free, sulfate free, phthalate, whatever. None of the crap. And it's the brightening mask. Evenly apply until you look like a green sea monster. That's funny. Allow it to set for 10 to 15 minutes. Cool. I kind of wish that I brought this mask with me when I went on vacation just because I find that it's just really easy to travel with this guy because a lot of my products are glass and I was so worried you guys like I got to the hotel and I like opened up my suitcase made sure that my products hadn't been destroyed and then same thing when I got home I was like please be okay I made sure I packed them like all squished in with like clothing supporting them the whole thing okay so now that we have this mask on we're gonna just let it let it hang out I want to show about two products that don't really need to be put on my face the first one is the indie lead this is the eye recover mind and body gel and I have used this before it smells freaking amazing you guys so Indy Lee has started coming out with more like wellness products um not something you would put on your face you actually put it on any sore joint and muscles so I hold a lot of my tension and muscle kind of pain in my neck and shoulders and so this is an extremely soothing sensation a really strong kind of menthol smell to it uh, I think it's like eucalyptus menthol I'm gonna look it up you guys just so I can actually accurately tell you what's in here it you don't feel it like cooling or hot immediately it kind of sets in a couple minutes after it's on but you just kind of massage that wherever that you feel like muscle and then 
neck tension. This is also hanging out my shower. It's the um, I Recover Body Soak. So you can apply this into your um, bathtub. I don't have a bathtub, I have a shower. So I actually use it as a scrub and it's a really, really nice scrub. It's kind of like a little bit more, um, it's got a little bit more cream in it than salt. So it's kind of, you have to kind of mix it up. The other scrub that I've been using, loving and destroying, and the packaging's actually compostable. You can see that it's like almost coming off, which is amazing. It's by the brand Love Fresh. This is their coconut lime scrub. The stuff smells so good. It's more like sugary coconutty than I can smell lime. I did pack this in a little travel size and took it with me on vacation. I've been obsessing over this, you guys. I love that it is compostable. It actually says on the back, um, do you have a backyard compost? Biodegrades within nine to 12 months. So it actually tells you how quickly it will biodegrade, which is really cool. And this stuff is so good, you guys. It smells delicious. I'm obsessed with this. The other new product that I actually just got in the mail today, it's really exciting, is the Detox Mode, which is a detox, um, the detox company, or sorry, the detox market brand. And this is made with grapeseed, ginger, and grapefruit. It's called the Happening Scrub. Let's see if I can get this without it. So the one thing I'm noticing with the big lights is that it looks like the product, I don't know if you guys can see that. I can see the product line is here. It ends here. And I'm not sure that's because it's standing upright that all the product has sunk down. It's quite full here, but it's not all the way to the top. So I'm not really gonna use this on my body. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. So it's bright orange color it looks like. It's kind of hard to, it's got an oily base and then it's got some like granulars on top. It does smell nice. I could see how this would be like also hydrating just because of that oil. It's very interesting. It almost needs to be mixed up a little bit, I think. So, which will be hard to do because it's in a squeeze bottle. So, we'll see. I'm going to wash that off. I feel like I've done a good job of brightening. These cheeks look very illuminated. Something that's part of the Holy Trinity by Asian Netja. I've been trying their holy oil, which looks like this for a while now. I really enjoy this. Um, it is a rose hip blend. Um, and so it's going to give you that kind of retinal property. Part of that um, Trinity is the um, Holy C, which is a powder, vitamin C which you are supposed to mix with water, um, or you can mix it with the Agent Natcha Holy Water, which is a pearl hyaluronic acid and rose toner. So I will show you guys, you're supposed to take a few pumps of this holy water. And the one thing that I wasn't expecting with the holy water is that it actually squirts like a dart rather than a spray. Does that make sense? I'll show you guys. Can you guys see that? Anyways, it doesn't spray. I don't know if my pump is weird. It doesn't spray the best, but it does smell quite lovely. And then you're going to take the Holy Sea. I took a little too much so like this and then once you actually mix it with the water it turns into a serum a clear serum 
And vitamin C is honestly, you guys, like the best thing you can be applying to your skin. It's weird, it gets a little bit sticky on the skin. I don't know if that's just because I have too much vitamin C and not enough of the holy water, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. And vitamin C is one of the best things that you can apply to your skin. It's kind of like that cure-all, everyone should be using it. And it's really amazing for hyperpigmentation, brightening the skin, reducing sunspots. It's like an all-around amazing skincare product that you need. Ask any dermatologist, ask any esthetician, they're going to tell you the same thing. And I have quite a few guests coming on that are going to be chatting about vitamin C, which is exciting. That is the Agent Nature one. Um, I haven't really used a ton of vitamin C's that are solely vitamin C serums. I've used a lot of serums that contain vitamin C, which I just don't think have a high enough concentration to really give you the results that you want with the vitamin C, which is to reduce hyperpigmentation, sunspots, and that kind of stuff. So that is why I really wanted to get a full on vitamin C. And I like playing around with the powder one just because it can be quite unstable. And so having it in a powder form and then activating it with water just is like the best thing you could be doing. So that is that um, and then I'm going to be applying the this is the Valencia artisan skincare hyaluronic acid serum with sea kelp and botanical um, hyaluronic acid so it is not extracted from a shark it is botanically sourced and it's a clear clear kind of I want to say like gel serum you guys know what I'm talking about? If you guys have felt a hyaluronic serum before, you kind of know that feeling I'm talking about. There's that. I also want to mention that I did. Whenever you're layering serums, you want you always want to apply the serum first that you want to do the most because that is what's going to get to the deepest layer. So if you really want to work on you know, for example, let's use the vitamin C and the hyaluronic acid. If your main concern is hyperpigmentation, sunspots, discoloration, evening out skin tone, you're going to want to use the vitamin C first. If your main concern is hydration, then you're going to use the hyaluronic acid first. So let's say you want to use both of them. You pick which one, which one's more of a thing you want to work on pigmentation and evening out skin tone or hydration. So that is how you decide which one you're going to apply first and then you apply the subsequent one afterwards. Little tip that I did learn from Stephanie G. So, okay, I have one more serum um, that I'm going to apply. It's actually a facial oil. And I don't really know if this is more like a beautifying one or if it's actually going to benefit my skin so I'm just gonna search it anyways it is the Nini Organics glow illuminator the floating glowy particles oh interesting so it's saying don't shake at all for just the face oil shake four times for a gentle glow shake constantly for 10 seconds for an intense glow cool and I can see that it does settle if you just leave it sitting and then it gets really shimmery once you shake it really fast so it's got sweet almond oil jojoba oil vitamin E um, rosemary gouda cola calendula alfalfa hops lavender meadow sweet I think I'm missing something so I'm going to just post the ingredient list in the description. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So it's got this itty little baby dropper, which is so cute. Okay. So pretty. Ooh, it's very like, not thick, but it's like definitely more oily than it is serum-y. Just tell me what you think of my glow factor. It's so smooth on the skin and it feels so luxurious. Wow, you really like that. Okay. 
So, I have this new jade roller that I got from Valencia Skin and is a natural jade stone, so it's got a natural cooling sensation, which is freaking amazing. Feels so good. And this is just gonna help press that oil into my skin. I actually have one other face oil from Valencia that I wanna share. It is the Rose Water All Natural and Organic Spray. I'm not a huge rose water on its own type of person, um, but this actually has quite a pleasant smell and the spray on this is super fine and really refreshing, which I really appreciate because sometimes sprays aren't that fine. Ugh, that actually feels really good. So we'll just work that into the skin. I'm gonna share two other products from Nini Organics and Valencia Skincare just because I don't want to apply like 20 million products on my face though. I would. <laughs> so I'm just going to roll this out and show you guys what those products are in a second. And then you got the little run for under the eyeballs. Okay. So the other two products I wanted to share that I'm not going to be, maybe I will apply them to my face. I don't know you guys. Um, this is the Nini Organics Moonlight Nectar. This is a super fruit night treatment, um, rich in oleic acid and vitamin A. Screw it, we're gonna put it on my face. That beautiful, rich orange color from the rose hip. And this actually smells quite sweet in comparison to other rosehip oils I've used. And I don't know if that's just because there's a different blend of ingredients. Now I will say with rosehip oil, even though there's so much conflict of whether or not you apply it at night or if it's safe to apply it during the day, um, rosehip oil is meant to be safe to apply during the day. Um, just always wear or use precaution and wear a sunscreen. Okay, and the other oil I have that I won't apply to my skin because I think I've OD'd is the Valencia Skincare. This is the Chia Seed Oil. And I'll just apply it to the back of my hand so you guys can see the consistency. Oh, it's very runny. Yeah, so it's very fine and runny. It's not that thick. It has a very light smell to it. Definitely not sweet because it's pure chia seed oil, but it's very very nourishing, very hydrating. Actually feels really nice on my arm. So if you're someone who likes really just calm signs, if you like like avocado oil and stuff like that, I think you would like this chia seed oil. Very hydrating. Okay, I think that's all the products I'm gonna apply to my face. Let's just so I'm taking my hair out because I want to show you a couple products from the Captain Blanket Chip that I have left over. Um, their dry shampoo. I've never tried this dry shampoo before. Um, I am a lover of the Kaya Natural one, but I don't really like dry shampoo to begin with. So it comes in a little shaker spout like that. It. 
Look how oily my face is. This is why you apply all your oils at, oils at night because you're just gonna go to bed and no one's gonna see you and it doesn't matter. Even though sometimes I do go out like this in the morning as well. I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit. Definitely helped a little bit. I didn't wanna apply too much. The only thing I would say I dislike about it is the application method is really challenging like I don't like how unprecise it is and then there is the mermaid hair oil kind of smells minty and I'm just gonna focus that on the ends because I just applied dry shampoo why would I put it on my roots recently got my hair done so it's a little bit more dry than usual and I for hair oil really like the Sahaja Nurture, Nurture hair oil oh my god I can't talk today and it smells incredible you guys but this actually feels quite nice Let's just brush that out. It added a nice shine as well. Two other products I want to mention that are new to me um, that I've been testing out and using that I like. The Eco Tan, this is the face tan water. Um, I really like using this just to kind of help balance out my face tan with my body. This is a little bit tricky to incorporate into your skincare routine. The best way that I have found to use it is at night and I will apply my cleanser, wash my face, apply this with my hands and then wash my hands. You can use a cotton pad if you want. I just feel like it wastes a little bit more product um, though your hands are a little bit more messy. And then what I'll do is I'll let that sit for five to 10 minutes until my skin feels dry. And then I'll go in with my skincare products. Just make sure that you don't use any exfoliating products or acids um, or enzyme products or any type of thing that's going to strip away the skin. So I will go in with more nurturing, hydrating serums and stuff like that. Why would you put an acid when you just put this on so that's just something to keep in mind don't use any lactic acids AHAs BHAs enzymes masks after you've applied this and then this is a really cool product this is the agent holy skin this is their shape oil but it actually does lather up it smells kind of like spicy it kind of smells like a cider to me and then you add some water to it and it does kind of lather up and then it gives you a really nice shave and it really hydrates and nourishes your skin afterwards, which I love. And then also, this is from Cloth in a Box too. It's their exfoliating mitt and it's got like a regular mitt on the back that's really good for just soap and then for exfoliating. This has been a favorite of mine. Guys, I love the Cloth in the Box products. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a long video. I talked a lot, but thanks so much for watching. Definitely check out my podcast, you guys. I am interviewing so many amazing green beauty founders from Audacity to Leilani to um, Kaya Naturals. So many. So check that out. Bye, guys.